So now, so what I wanted to do was make drums for my students. I teach at a high school. And um, I like to use Home Depot technology. And so this is, uh, you know what this is? Yeah, it's silicone. Two, two PVC pipe. This stuff is incredible. It's really cheap. Uh, you can drill it, you can cut it. If you have to build something for a science fair project or whatever, great stuff. These are electronic drums. Electronic drums is basically a switch. You have two wires and when they touch, that makes a switch. So what I did was I bought, I tried to find the highest quality, lowest cost drum machine. And that's what I got going here. I just lift it a little. It's called a micro rhythm track. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's basically a drum machine. But it has these little buttons, you know? It has some fat sounds in it, but it's not much fun to play drums like this. It's more fun to play with drumsticks. So what I did was I wired those switches to my switches. So what I did was uh, I took a guitar string, and the guitar string's made out of metal, and then I took some uh, aluminum tape on the bottom. So in theory, when the string hits the metal, when the metal hits the metal, that closes the switch, okay? But if you put it on this thing, it would feel awful, and you hear this banging, which would be awful, okay? So what we want to do is make something that feels better, so I put the foam on it, okay? So the foam kills the, the pounding. So what's really, what's the challenge here is to write, use the right materials. So we want something to absorb the hit so we don't hurt our arm and make a terrible noise. And we want something to bounce back. So you can do these, uh, this bouncing. And now I think what we need to do is find someone who plays drums. Mr. M, where is he? Good. Okay. Let's do some DC. I'm gonna do a little DC beat. Anybody from Washington DC here? No, just do it. You know what's up, though. Like Yeah. What else? Yeah.